everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to frame this beautiful little painting. It is a 5x7 painting on canvas and I'm going to show you how to frame it in this type of frame that does not have any pre-drilled holes or anything like that. You have to do everything yourself. It is a little bit scary but I will walk you through it. I will show you what to do and I promise it won't be so hard. Plus you learn as you go and you learn the more you do it. So. The first thing you need to do is grab all the supplies that you're going to need. So you're going to need the frame and the art, obviously. One of the most important ones is spacers. Sometimes they come with the frames, sometimes they don't. If they don't, all you have to do is just grab like some cardboard, some thicker paper and just cut it into a bunch of little pieces. So have a bunch of them ready. Um, you need anything that you're going to attached to the back of this. So if you're going to do hanging wire and you're going to need some kind of a bracket system to attach the wire, either this kind or I also sometimes use for smaller paintings, these little hooks. So either get these hooks or I use these little hooks that I attach to the back. And of course you need your wire. And these specific frames come with these little brackets, these little L brackets. Let me show you. They look like this. Little L brackets. And then, of course, screws that come with it. Oh, no. These screws are for my um, hooks. These things already come with their own little screws. All right. So that's what you need. And if you are going to be pre-drilling some holes, which I do recommend, you're going to need a drill. Don't be afraid. And you're going to need some kind of drill bits to go with it. Um, especially ones that are kind of as big, as thick as your screw. So you're just kind of going to have to kind of eyeball it. All right. So let's get started with positioning your art inside your frame. So make sure it is nice and centered in there. It's not crooked. It's not too far down. It's not too far to either side. Make sure it's super nice and centered in there, especially if it's a floating frame and there's a lot of wiggly space. Now, if you've got tiny little spacers, they might kind of fall in there and get lost. So you can tape them up and make sure they don't like separate or just make sure they are nice and tight in there. Make sure the art doesn't move. So you might want to stick more on this side as well. All right, make sure, make sure it's tight. So just make sure they're not moving a lot and they're going to stick in there because now we're going to like drill our holes and we don't want anything to move. So make sure it is good. I feel like this side has more space than this side. So I'm going to grab one spacer from here and put it on this side. And I'm going to take this one out to shift it over a little bit. This, this might take some time, guys. So be patient. So just make sure it's also not crooked. So it's not like skewed in there a little bit. So stand it up. Take a look at it. Make sure it's really, really good. All right. I think it's good. So now you flip it around. That's why you want these really tight so that when you flip it around, they don't fall out and then you don't have to repeat this whole process. So once it is flipped around, you can place it either on, just on the table if your little things aren't gonna move too much, um, and then grab your brackets. So these brackets go on my frame like this. They get attached like that, but these are too small. So let me go grab my other ones. Yep, so I'm going to use these bigger ones. So you can see they go right like that. Now, if it's a small frame, you could get away with just, just using two brackets instead of one on each side because that is a lot. But if you want to be safe, you can do one on all four sides, just like that. Okay, so you want your drill bit to be probably like the diameter of it, a little bit 
thinner, tiny bit thinner than your actual screw that you're going to be using. So I think this one will work. We'll try this out. Most important part is these little things. So these little things don't move. Um, if you need to like prop this up on something, go ahead. I'm going to try to find something right here for me to prop this up on. All right. I'm going to use this little thing right here. So I'm just going to put it right on top. It is touching the wood around here, so it's not going to damage my canvas. But I'm just going to prop it up on there. So like I said, don't be afraid. Let me give you a better view here. Just make sure it's nice and in the center. Place it again, grab the screw. All right, there we go. Two are done. All right, all done. Now you can take out your little spacers. And if you need to re-tighten any screws, just do that. I think these are, they're a little on the crooked side, but they're okay. They're going to hold the painting in. That's all that matters. So let me readjust this now. We are going to adjust, or I mean, attach the little brackets. So if you are using these brackets, it is really hard to get these in on small paintings because you, there's very little, little space for you to be um, screwing them in there. Um, they do recommend that you put hanging wire on the actual painting, but I'm going to attach it to the frame just because this is such a tiny painting. So I'm going to attach these ones to the inside of the frame not like this because otherwise when you place it like that and you hang it on the wall it's going to be sticking out a little bit and i really don't like how that looks so i usually attach them like that on the inside okay all right so what i need is two screws for this little thing it seems like a lot because this is such a tiny painting and it probably doesn't weigh a lot um but these screws are kind of big but that's what came, that's what I ordered with these, and that's what came. So that's what we're using. So again, grab yourself a drill bit. I'm going to grab a bigger one for these because these screws are a little thicker. All right, and I am going to mark a spot. So I am going to measure a third of the way down, so right about in between here, in between um, these two spaces, so right there. So just kind of measure it out and then mark where you're going to drill the hole. And you can measure with a ruler to have the same distance from here to here on both sides. I just kind of use my pencil as a guide. <laughs> kind of hard to do that on this side so right around there so now I'm gonna drill my holes make sure you don't go through like I said make sure you kind of know the distance you can have your screw next to you if you want to hold it up to see how far you need to go. All right, let's take this 
out. Now we're going to attach these. So this is the top. Make sure you know where the top of your painting is. Don't forget that. go. One done. So grab your wire and kind of measure out how much you need. Measure the distance between each one and then add a little bit for, you know, to loop it around. Cut it and then twist it in there. So I'm just going to kind of measure out the center. And make sure you don't make it tight and kind of measure out how far it will stretch like up so when it when it's hanging it's gonna be like that make sure it's not hitting this because then it'll just like stick out of the wall all right so now you can just loop it around. Again, be really good at this looping part. Um, make sure it's nice and tight if you have a big painting because it's heavier. This little tiny thing, like I said, doesn't really weigh much, so I'm not worried that it's gonna like, like the wire's gonna like fall off or something. But you never know. And all I'm gonna do now is just use a little bit of tape any kind of tape, either masking tape or I just use a little bit of painter's tape um, just to, so people don't cut themselves in case they like go and touch it back there just because it's sharp. So I just tape it off just like that. Now it's done, ready for hanging, all finished. Beautiful.